Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Tonight I want to look at a few different release aids. I've got a few back um, tension release aids in my hand. I've got the True Fire Sear. I've got the True Ball HBC. This is meant to be. It's a brass one, but he's actually cut off the curve here. And I've got the Scott Backspin. Now these are all release aids I've shot. Now I actually started shooting a HB, H, uh, True Ball HT, which is the same design as this. Um, I really liked it. This is the brass version. Um, I then went to the backspin and then I went to the True Fire Sear. Now it's not to say one of these is better than the others, they are different and that's what I want to talk about and I want to shoot them. Now first off I'm going to start with the True true Ball design. Now this works on a spring, you can see there's a spring to basically load it. You've got the ability to adjust the tension, so how hot this is. So there's a little hotness meter here which is basically indicates how fast this thing will trigger. Now to do that You've got a locking screw on the back and you just simply adjust that little allen key there in and out and they'll adjust the angle at which it sets off. Now if you want to turn the click on and t click off, I find this release at a real pain. You have to take off that, allen that little um, Phillips head just there and that enables that little pin there to come out so you push a little, um, a little screwdriver through this little hole on the opposite side, it pushes out the pin. And then this little this little detachment comes off and you can replace a turn around a little thing there to turn the click off and on i find sometimes it takes me about 15 minutes to do it i mean on a good day i can do it in in five minutes but i i'm actually scared of doing it as far because sometimes it like i said it takes me 15 minutes to do but i really like the release aid and the reason i didn't shoot this release aid and the reason i'm not shooting it is because mine got stolen so after that i went to the scott backspin which i really liked it's got a it's got a roller system here. Sometimes the roller I find gets a little bit jammed, but still a nice release and I shot really well with that. Um, this is the True Fire Sear, um, which I'm currently shooting. And the reason I like this is because of the color. So it's no more, no more than that. Now to adjust the tension on this one, I'm oh, sorry, on the Scott, it's a simple half, um, half moon here. There's a little Allen key both sides there and on the other side, you adjust it and you can move the moon in the angle to change the angle at which it sets off same with the true fire sear you've got a little angle here you just move it backwards and forwards to change the angle it goes off so they all work pretty much the same so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the way they shoot um, and which one i prefer now first off i want to talk about the width of each of these triggers let's try and line them up so clearly the widest of the triggers is the true ball um, the next widest would be the scott and the thinnest would be the True Fire Sear. So I'm going to start off with the True Ball. Now this this one just came in my shop yesterday. Um, a guy was trading his gear and he had it in there. I was like, oh, let's have a shot with it. And let's see how well I shoot. So I'm just going to shoot a couple of arrows with, with the different releases so I can explain them to you. Now, when shooting a back tension re release aid, and the reason why you shoot a back tension is so you don't punch the trigger. Um, so you're basically aiming the whole time. So the whole time you're aiming, 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 aiming. None of this punching the trigger um, stuff. Now. Today in my shop there was a, um, a customer in there, I'm going to say a customer. And his finger was hitting that release aid so fast, um, I'm like just take your time with the with um, squeezing the trigger and he's like, his finger's off and he's like bang like that. Now you and I'm going to say you're never going to shoot well like that. And there's always going to be an exception to that rule but it's very hard to shoot well like that because there's too much moving. As soon as your brain goes trigger, this hand's moving, this hand's moving, everything's moving, you don't want anything to be moving. The way you're going to shoot well is minimal movement. Now the light's actually fading, so... So what I really like about the True Ball HT series releases, and that's a HBC, I really like the width here on the on this finger it seems to fit in really nice into you can see it fits in really nice into my finger there 
and that seems to hold the weight really nicely it's very comfortable I like the way it loads um, it's a really nice release aid Now that one would have fired um, five o'clock, oh sorry, seven o'clock in the nine because that's where I released it. Now I'm gonna say it's getting a little bit cold here because it's right on, um, right on night break, night full. But that to me is a really nice release aid. When you're trying out release aids, I find my, I shoot about the same scores with all release aids. So a lot of it just comes down to personal feel. So we're gonna shoot the Scott back spin now and I'll shoot at the next target. So it loads pretty quick. Um, I think it uses a magnet system. The true ball uses a spring to load it. Now I find with this ball, this bearing system, that it's very easy to trigger off, which is one of the reasons I first picked this release aid. So going to a back tension release aid, I wanted the whole movement backwards to be easy. And I found the backspin very, very simple to, to get it to trigger. It's like, it's, it's almost like a hair trigger because it's on that bearing system. So any movement there, it's just, it's just very easy to trigger. Now when you're first trying out back tension release aids, always be really, I'm shooting at 18 meters here, always be really close to the target, uh, like you know, one or two meters away. Um, have a light poundage bow. I'm shooting a 60 pound bow here, but I'm familiar with back tension. Now I really like the Scott back spin. I've been shooting it for a, probably almost two years now. I really, really like that release aid. But there has been times when that bearing system gets a little bit sticky. So when I'm shooting it, it's going crunch, 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 crunch. And I reckon that's why lots of um, the top archers who started using it went away from it. Um, but that's just me making my assumption. Still like it and really nice release aid. So this is a true fire sear. Comes in a whole, a whole bunch of nice colors. This is the red, because I was shooting a red and black theme bow, which is, you know, it comes in gold, it comes in blue, it comes in green. Colors that are important if you want to color coordinate, which is very important for guys. So guys like color coordination. So this is the true fire sear. Now that took me a lot more work to get off. Now the one thing I noticed is where I'm holding that with this finger here, it's a lot narrower. So um, with the true fire, um, this part here is a lot thinner. So I find that I almost have more control with the true ball release aid than the true fire. Not to say the true fire is a bad release aid, I'm not saying that. It's a different feel. I shot about the same scores with all these release aids, so. <sighs> but I'm definitely having, when I say having, Maybe it's not set as hot as the other release aids. The other release aids were definitely easy to get off. So, so this is definitely slower. So with me, I've got a state championship coming up in about seven days. 
Um, so right now I'm putting lots of training, well I'm trying to put lots of training in. I'm trying to do lots of physical exercise to get my breathing better. I'm trying to do weight stuff to become stronger so my body doesn't hurt. And I want to work out which release aid I'm going to shoot. Okay, let's go down and have a look. Now, I definitely found the True Fire True Ball easy to shoot. Um, I like the feel of it. And that was the first back tension I ever shot. Now, I'm just going to show you where I shoot and what I have so sort of set up. So, I have this little, I have a little tablet set up. I have a little Bluetooth speaker set up down here. And basically when I'm shooting I have like music playing so I don't get bored when I'm shooting. Um, so that's what I have set up. Now it's getting dark so I put lights, this is a little pull shed, I have lights in there. And then I put lights down on the target down there. So let's go down and see where those arrows are. Okay so we're up here at the target. Um, these are the arrows I've shot. Now this is not representing which release aids better at all. It's what's more comfortable to me and how I felt them to shoot. So the first one I shot was the True, True Ball HT style release aid and obviously that one there was the arrow which I had issues with um, where I basically shot in that position but it felt really comfortable and actually I had a practice end with that release aid prior to, to doing this video and all the arrows were spot on in the middle so I was like let's do a video on this. Now this is the backspin. Now what's interesting about the backspin is the arrows shot fractionally higher. You can see these are in line with those. So obviously my hands are slightly in a different position and I was having trouble seeing through the peep sight with the backspin. So it was putting my hand here in a different position. So it would have been lowering my hand down my face because I was having trouble seeing through the peep. And you can see the grouping's not as good. Now I have shot well with the backspin. Um, but in this case, um, in this case the grouping wasn't as good with the Scott backskin. Now this is the True Fire Sear. Um, which I've been shooting for quite a while now. Now you can see two really good shots and these two are tens on the side here as well. Now I'm going to say I had trouble getting those shots off. I was running out of air so I got a little bit of variation. So I'm going to say I probably shot better shots with these um, True Ball release aid, the True Ball HT style release aid. But I'm not going to say it's because of the release aid. I'm going to say it's probably due to the setting about how hot the release aid was and how comfortable it is for me to get that shot off. But overall, on those three release aid, which release aid do I prefer and why do I prefer them? I find the loading probably simplest. The loading of the, of the release aid is probably simplest on the Scott Backspin, being a magnetic system. Followed by probably the True Fire Sphere. And even though the True ball release aid is on a spring system the jaws are a little bit tucked away so I'm just going to show you what I mean by that so you can see here when I load it you can see the gap between there and there you can see how it sort of comes down um, so the distance between this little thing here and the little jaw is really tight where if I load the Scott back spin, you can see there's a big gap between there and there. And the same on the True Fire Sear, you've got this big gap between there and there. So I'm gonna say this is the hardest to load, but I, did, I had no problems loading it at all. I'm gonna say the easiest release aid to shoot as far as comfort for me was the True Ball release aid. However, I have had people say that this section here is too wide for their finger and it, it actually does create some hurt, so that's between there and there. Um, now, I think some people actually hold the release aid incorrectly. I think some people hold the release aid up here instead of down there. So it's meant to be, instead of down there and there, it's meant to be held there. So I think some of it's to do with the way people are holding the release aid, but I do find this really comfortable. I do like how this sort of thins down here. I find it gives me more control. Um, the Scott release aid is probably the easiest to, when I say to move the trigger because of the bearing system. And I like the look of the True Fire Sear. So all up, 
just based on this video, I'm, I'm probably going to start shooting this one for the next few days. Um, the true bull um, and give that a go. Um, and the only reason I actually changed from this was, like I said, because it got stolen. I just didn't want to buy another one and have it go disappearing as well. So, um, so some of my selections are just based on purely customer's desire <laughs> because I leave my release aids all around the store um, for the products. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this one a try over the next few days and sort of see if I can shoot some decent scores with it leading up to the state championship. So that's some back tension release aids. I hope it's been helpful. But always go and give them a try if you can or ask someone, can I have a shot with your release aid? And I'm going to say overall, it doesn't make a lot of difference to your shooting. What makes a difference to your shooting is lots of practice and lots of work. The more you work at it, the better you're going to get. And that's with anything in life. The more you work, the better you're going to get. Thank you for watching. Bye.